All right, all right, NTB, man. This one thing is mandatory in order to achieve success after setbacks. NTB, man. first thing that I've learned was that a lot of people want to know how I change things around. For those who are not familiar with my life, my backstory, when I was a young man, 17 years old, I was arrested for robbery offenses and I was brought to court, sentenced after conviction to uh, 12 and a half to 25 years in prison. It's a lot of backstory there and I'll probably make a video giving you all some of the backstory there sometime soon. You know, there was a hostile judge, there was a hostile community, you know, I was a young black man and uh, the robberies occurred in a mostly wealthy white neighborhood that had at that time a, a series of young men coming to the neighborhood and committing uh, robberies. And so the community was in an outroar, uproar, so to speak, and was putting pressure on, you know, the judges to, to get tough on them guys right there, particularly young black men. And then I had the misfortune of landing in front of a judge who had a historic reputation for being harsh with young black men. And so luck of the draw, he was, uh, you know, the judge that I was assigned. Anyway, I was a first time offender, never been in trouble with the law before, 12 and a half, 25 years. Most people said it was outrageous, outlandish. Nevertheless, I ended up doing 12 and a half years in prison. So along the way, you know, I didn't have even my GED out my GED while I was inside. Eventually, I went on to fix myself, you know, and I give my most credit to the Lord above, you know, for giving me the insight and finding ways to do that. I went on to earn a number of college degrees, including my JD law degree, passed the bar, went on to be admitted in New York, been practicing law for approximately 16 years. I'm also a college professor. I teach law classes and two-time author, wrote a number of books, one being No Throwaway Boy, which is a more detailed detailed look into, you know, the journey that I had to go through to get where I am. And then I wrote a second book, which is called Kill Yourself, A Radical Guide to Self-Development and Living a Fulfilling Life. And that book kind of like lay out the blueprint to young people, men and women who really want to fix their lives and some of the steps that I believe could be helpful in, in that regard. And so a lot of people ask me how I turned it around. And one of the things that I say is you got to have a plan. You got to have a plan. You got to have a plan. And then you got to stick to your plan. You got to work your plan and, you know, you have to be committed to it. And so what I want to do is in the next few videos, just talk a little bit more about how to really, you know, move from one stage in life to the next stage in life. And some of the tools probably going to be used and necessarily will be used to get you there. Anyway, just a short what's going on, guys. Hope everybody's having a great day. We'll talk some more. Peace and blessings. Don't throw away, boy.